Hello and welcome Helldivers to another video full of Helldivers 2 leaks, news and everything else. It's Deck Fam, and it's time to get right into it. So first things first, congratulations are in order for completing the major order. As you can see we have almost 2 days left until the completion of the major order and all of the 4 planets are up to 100% completion. So unless Joe wakes up on some fuck shit. We are going to get this easily. The major order was about keeping control of terminate planets, so the biomass collection teams would be able to collect some more of the oil from the bugs, which we use to power up our spaceships FTL travel. Now with this in mind, as you can see Malevolon Creek is open for business and it's time for us to get back to the bots, at least that's my opinion. Other than that, on the news front, everything has been kind of slow the past couple of days, which is to be expected, we cannot have high days all of the time, but there are a bunch of things I missed out on reporting in my past couple of videos, so here we go. First, from the Helldivers 2 Discord channel. If you're not in there, make sure you get on Discord and get in the Helldivers 2 chats, because this will be your best source of Helldivers 2 related announcements. And, as you can see, a couple of days ago they managed to identify the causes of freezes many of the players have been experiencing. They are in the process of building a patch to fix that and should be ready to deploy early next week, which hopefully means in the next couple of days. In the meantime, make sure you stay away from the Arc Thrower, Arc Shotgun and Tesla Tower as they appear to be linked to the issue. I've also seen it mentioned on Reddit that it's basically uh, players hitting a cap of some sort for items that are dropped in the map and that means using those EATs is also not helpful but that is more in the lines of conjecture so we cannot be really sure. Yeah I know crashes and freezes are something that is not making anybody happy, it doesn't make me particularly happy either but I guess it's just growing pains with this sort of a game which let's be honest the developers did not have any expectation of it being such a major phenomenon as it turned out to be. So I guess thanks everybody for the understanding. And first things first, actually we have a player who noticed a very conspicuous set of bones on the planet Istanu. As you can see it looks like the Hive Lord from Helldivers 1. Or at least it looks like the skeleton of the Hive Lord in Helldivers 1. Which is very interesting because we did get a leak pertaining to boss units finally coming into the game. So does that mean that we'll also get the Hive Lord? Honestly, I really hope that does end up happening because, I mean, look at this stuff. This is scary as all hell. And let's keep it a buck, who doesn't want to fight a boss during the mission? Yeah, Bio Titans are kind of a boss sort of unit, but I'm sure there will be nothing close to what the Hive Lord would offer when it comes to just pure annihilation and pure just oh my god levels of I need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, I know, I sound a bit weird, but to me it's uh, exciting. Now something very interesting, Wikipedia seems to be speaking the truth as it comes to Super Earth. Super Earth did nothing wrong and never has. We are the saviors of the universe and only traitors disagree with us. Traitors are to be exterminated by gunfire. Honestly, that's just a fire post and I had to share this with you. Also something that Helldivers 2 creators have been doing, which makes me really freaking happy, is as you can see, they've started creating these miniatures. I, I gotta keep it a buck with you guys. I would definitely buy this stuff. I mean, look at it. It's just cool. You have the gunship right over there ready for extraction. You have four Helldivers just making sure they get out of there alive. And it looks so much like what you get in game. I don't know, how much money would you spend on this? I would easily give like 150 just to have this as a diorama set somewhere in my, you know, in somewhere in my room. Shout out to Kumarev who has created these, it seems. Really good project, my guy. Then we have this post right over here, less horny, more democracy. Uh, this just made me laugh because it seems that this creator decided to make a female version, like a human female version of the Bio Titan. It looks very horny, it's got a little bit of boobage action going on there. And of course the correct response to this is to drop a 500 kg bomb on it for heresy. It's just a, such a heretic post. You gotta destroy it with fire for democracy. Also we have kind of a feel good post for you. 
because this person, Trashcat131, is ready to do literally anything for democracy. They're seemingly in a hospital, but that does not stop them from playing Helldivers 2 and helping us with the liberation efforts. So thank you very much, Trashcat131. I hope you get better soon. And it's really cool to see the community going hard for posts like this. And this post just made me laugh so hard by US2 underscore therapy don't come cheap divers. As you can see, it's just that was traumatic. F me. The only winner in this war is going to be my therapist. I gotta say, I feel you, man. I feel you. And now let's get on to the leaks. Honestly, it's been very slow since my last video, but there have been a couple of things I have not covered yet, so I'll go over those as quick as I can. And also, let's start with something which is new. Someone on the Helldivers Leak subreddit wanted an ETA on the Illuminate arrival, and over here, Helldiver Lotu actually gave us a great breakdown, of course. Obviously, major spoilers ahead, and take everything with a grain of salt, since this is inference from what is said in the leaked transcripts but here we go at some point soon they inform us that the tcs was 99.6 percent effective and that the galaxy is celebrating we almost destroyed the thermonet threat i believe that this is basically where we are at at the moment then they tell us that actually on meridia 0.4 percent of the bugs weren't killed and have mutated to create a super colony that reproduces 20 percent faster would that actually be the point where we get to see that Hive Lord? Who knows? But it would be a great point for them to drop the Hive Lord right there in this moment of the story. Then we have point three. They say we must deploy the new dark fluid system which we stole from the Illuminate in Helldivers 1 to destroy the super colony. We probably have to collect the stuff for government scientists to study and test. Testing the dark fluid on Moradesh causes the death of 12 scientists. The accident causes a mini black hole on Moradesh. The Illuminate starts showing up through the black hole. Sightings are denied as dissident rumors. The Illuminate start popping up in random places around the galaxy and the government acknowledges their return and the new faction begins to have a map presence. Now Lotu assumes that 1 and 2 happen by the end of March, which we are at the end of March, so yeah, that kind of lines up. We are already there. Uh, 3, 4, and 5 will happen by the end of April. It does seem like that is pretty much the order of things, and it does seem like we're going in this direction. And then 6 by the beginning of May, followed by 7 and 8 by mid-May. I believe their timeline is very correct, at least from what we've seen. You can check for all of that in the leaked news audio that I have shared in some of my past videos. You can go to my channel for that. Make sure you like and subscribe to my stuff. And after that, things can slow down a bit, but Lotu thinks that it's a decent timeline. Of course, it does seem like very probable. And I think Lotu is dead on as it comes to this, because this is what we are seeing in game. And now let's get to the leaks that I didn't manage to get to. Of course, from our good friend Iron Sights, we have a dark fluid extractor. Uh, they managed to actually texture it, and this is what it looks like. It seems like this is one of the weapons of the Illuminate. It looks kind of dope. We already have seen one of the Illuminate types wielding this sort of thing, which most likely will shoot electricity and also be used as a clubbing weapon. Looks very intimidating and honestly very cool, kind of like a claw weapon in Elden Ring, if you've ever gotten around playing that game. Awesome game, by the way, but we are not here for that. We are here for the Illuminate leaks. Then we have the artifact, which is again connected to the Illuminate. Now, this is most likely the thing that creates the black hole that uh, we spoke about just a little bit before now. And yeah, things are starting to line up. This pretty much... How the timeline will play out, I think Lotu is dead on the money, at least from what we can see in these leaks and all of these things. We will see what happens, but yeah, everything starts seeming very credible, guys. And also, more from Iron Sights, we have some super earth foliage and landscapes. Uh, basically, these are just trees from super earth, even further confirming that we will fight on super earth. It's nothing that interesting, it's just you can finally see what the flora and fauna of Super Earth would look like. And this is probably pretty much what the ground would look like, but it's pre-alpha, so there's a bunch of time before it actually comes about. Then we have another Illuminate, 
right over here. This is just a brawler type of unit. It looks pretty cool. And again, as I love to say, they are very Lovecraftian to me, mostly because of their faces. Then we have the Illuminate Pathfinder. Oh my god, this unit looks freaking incredible. Just look at it. I don't even know what it looks like. Honestly, to be completely, to keep it a buck, it looks like something that belongs in Destiny 2. It looks freaking awesome and I can't wait to fight these guys. Then we have an Illuminate Axe. Just one of the weapons of the Illuminate looks really freaking dope. Then we have an Automaton Fleet Ship, which can be a possible boss. I have no idea how we would fight that thing, but look at this rail cannon that it has right on the undercarriage. This is threatening as all heck. Oh my god. How it would be a boss, I we cannot know. Would there be space combat? I doubt it because that would take like crazy amounts of developmental resources and who knows, maybe we'll just be able to see it and we would be activating Super Earth Armed Forces, you know, weaponry that we shoot up at it. Uh, it's called the Stingray Entity <laughs> Root and it's a boss, possibly. You cannot know, you cannot know, but we get so many leaks about bosses that, yeah, it seems like it's something that's pretty much gonna happen. And that's about it, guys. Thank you for joining me in yet another Helldivers 2 news and leaks video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe to my channel for even more Helldivers 2 content. And I'll see you in the next one.